Hello Capricorns. I'm going to get right into the reading. So it's just whatever wants to come out here. Whatever the cards want to say. As I always say too, if this isn't your reading, don't try to make it resonate. You know, you're either in this energy group or you're not. But I, I do other readings as well. I do random readings sometimes. So you could be in one of those energy groups if you're not in this one. But um, yeah, let's get right into it. Courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners, sacrifice, offering, letting go, supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly, thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. Let's see. Prey, stalked, invaded, watched. Sorry. Authentic, real, organic. Mortal, fragile, transmission. Spreading of conditions, influence, impact, hope, anticipation, wish, transgression, contradictions, mistake. I feel like somebody here is overly hard on themselves. It feels like they're with sacrifice, offering, letting go, and then we have courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. It's almost like somebody has trying to, they're trying to always do the right thing. This is somebody who has a lot of integrity. They want to be honorable. They want to do right. But I, I feel like somebody's almost lost, um, how do I explain this? It's almost like they've lost touch with a part of themselves because of that. It's like you're always, it's like somebody here is always trying to do right by other people. This could be you. This could also be your person. But it's, it's like somebody is just, they're always trying to, they're always putting other people first. They're always trying to do right by other people. This could even be a warning too for somebody that might be being gaslit in a relationship where it's like you messed up in the past. And this person, like there might have been cheating or there might have been something that you said or did. And this could be even be a past relationship where you're punishing yourself for this still. You feel like you, you feel, it's almost, yeah, it's like almost, I don't know if self-sabotage is the right word, but it's almost like you did something that wasn't in alignment with your values in the past. I feel like you made a mistake that was, you know, like I said, it was like cheating or getting involved with the wrong kind of people or just doing or saying something. It just, you did something that was really out of character for you. So I almost feel like you've been in this cycle of punishing yourself for that and, and making sure that you don't slip up. It's like, you're not allowing yourself to make mistakes. It's like, you're not allowing yourself to grow anymore and to learn and experience different things because you're like, so afraid of making those mistakes. You're so afraid of doing something wrong again. This could even be past life karma that's repeating in this lifetime where you might have honestly you know, you, you might have killed people in a past life. Like I, I, I honestly, I did too. Like in my Viking life, I honestly, I did kill people. Like I've, I've looked into some of my, my past lives. So like, I, I get it, you know, it's, 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 it's one of those things where you might be repeating a cycle that comes from past lives where it's like, you did something horrible and now you feel like it might even be something that's like an energetic blockage where it's like, you just feel like you don't trust yourself to really be in your power or you feel like you don't know what to do with power. It's kind of like you've been playing it small in a way. Um, and so there might be past life soul contracts that you need to end. There might be past life, past life energy where it's like you need to kind of dig into those past lives and and kind of clear that energy out and realize that you've paid the karmic debt. Because sometimes even when you pay the karmic debt, you can still keep repeating the, the same cycles just because it's like you have that in your head that that has to that you have to keep repeating those cycles, basically, like you have it. Um, it's like, you're just kind of used to that. Like I went through the same thing where, where I actually caused a great deal of destruction in my earlier lives. Like I said, especially in my Viking life, um, or my, my Norse life, I, I guess I should say, but in, in lives that followed, I actually died very young and very, very violently. 
and that you know that kept repeating that that's those cycles of you know war of poverty of violence of um just going through it it was like there was a like a karmic balancing sort of but this is the first life where it, it, it's like I don't have all that bad karma I feel like I've cleared most of that karma but I didn't understand that at first I, I for years it's almost like I still expected life to be I, I still expected everything to be a battle I still expected it was like I had that war like that kind of warrior like mentality where I still expected everything to be a struggle or I still was on some un unconscious level still sort of punishing myself for things that had happened before in, in my past lives especially um, and so sometimes it's it's difficult to like pinpoint that energy and clear it. And for others, it might not be a past life. Um, it, and it could be a combination of all of the above. But for others, I do want to say don't let anybody gaslight you because this could be one of those situations for some of you where it's like you did something like you cheated or you uh, you made some big mistake this lifetime. And it's like either you're gaslighting yourself for it or you're letting somebody else gaslight you for it. So it might be one of those things where it's like you cheated on somebody, which I'm not saying that's okay in any way, but it might be one of those things where you were with somebody and like they, you know, they said, you know what, I love you. I want to work through it. I forgive you for this, but they didn't actually really forgive you for it. They, they held it against you for, you know, months or years to come. And they, it's, it's almost like they just use that to manipulate you. It's like every time they did something wrong, they could be like, well, you cheated on me, or you said this, this one time, or you did this. So it's okay for me to do it. Like they, they, they didn't really, yeah, there wasn't genuine forgiveness there. They didn't really move on from it. They continued to hold a grudge for it. This could be a friend or somebody too, who's still holding a grudge against you. I'm hearing that imagine, I don't know what it has to do with this, but it, cause I, I don't remember all the lyrics of that song. Um, but I'm hearing that imagine dragon song. I don't know how it goes though. It's like, you're a natural, you have to be so hard to make it in this world or something like that. That could be relevant for somebody. But, um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, for some of you, it's somebody punishing you for some, for some, it's like you, I mean, I don't want to say punishing yourself, but it's, it's almost like, like you're, explain this it's like you're going out of your way to do things for other people which is a good thing but it, it's almost like you're not really taking care of yourself you're just kind of prioritizing everybody else's needs above your own like if you're like like it could be like family significant other friends it's like your your needs aren't really being met but sure I feel like you're making some excuse for why your needs can't be met right now basically and it's like, like I said, for some, it's like this person's manipulating you and they're like, well, I get to do this because you cheated on me or you did this and this in the past. Or maybe it was even a different relationship where you did something that you're you're not proud of um, or some sort of or other event. So it's like you just feel like you don't deserve rest or you don't deserve let, to like have that happiness or you feel like, um, how do I explain it? I just get the energy of somebody who's just always trying to do right by others, but almost to a fault. This isn't for everybody. So, you know, only take this if it resonates. But like I said, for some of you, I do feel like somebody's using your integrity to their advantage. Um, they're using this side of you, this, this courteous, thoughtful, polite, you know, good manners, this, um, kind of, I don't know if it's like heroic, but it's like somebody that kind of just like takes care of things or using that to their advantage. And again, this isn't for everybody. Like I have anxiety and depression. So I understand like sometimes it's really just hard to get things done. Like I, I get it. It's hard to like go out, even go outside sometimes. But for some of you, I do feel like somebody is using their mental illness against you. Somebody is like, like, and you'll know again, don't, you know, only take it if it resonates. This is, this is only for like one or two of you. But I feel like for some, it's like they're using their mental illness against you and you can feel it like you can you know that it's not just they're having an anxiety attack and they need some support. It, it's like, oh, I can't take the trash out because I'm depressed or I can't. It's like somebody who's like not pulling their weight in a connection. Like they're saying they can't do certain things because they have anxiety or they have, you know, some kind of mental illness going on. Or it's like they flake on you, like they ghost you. They don't, they're they're not showing up for you, but they say like, oh, I, you know, I have this mental disorder and that's why I had to do that. It's like, they're not really, and don't get me wrong. Like if you have a mental disorder, it's hard. It's really hard to do things, but there's still, 
you still need to have that balance. You still need to like do right by the people in your life anyway, you know, and like most people that are understanding are going to make accommodations. Like if you say, Hey, like I'm, you know, I'm having a lot of anxiety today. I can't hang out. I'm sorry. That's, that's completely different energy than just ghosting somebody. And then, you know, a few days later being like, Oh, I was going through this. This is why I didn't call you for few, for three or four days. You know, that's, there's no excuse for that. You know what I mean? Cause no matter how depressed you are, it takes like a minute to just send that message. And if the, a person doesn't understand that's on them, but there still has to be at least a little bit of effort there, you know? But yeah, I feel like for some of you, I feel like somebody's using their mental illness as like an excuse to get away with certain things or not not do certain things. It's like you're putting more effort into the connection than they are, and they're trying to make excuses for themselves. Um, and they're just kind of, uh, like I said, just kind of, you know, playing on your integrity, playing on that desire you have to take care of other people. Um. For some, and for some, like I said, it might not even be a person that's doing this, another person that's doing this to you. It might just be yourself. Like maybe you're just doing this to yourself where I'm hearing like epigenetics. I feel like epigenetics might come into play for somebody, but um, I just had to think about it for a minute. I, I feel like for some of it's like the past life thing. You might have been like a warrior in your past life or you were in like, I feel like like a military kind of energy where you had to... You didn't really get to live for yourself in that lifetime is what I feel. I feel like you answered to somebody like a king or a queen or some sort of higher up. You might have been um, – because I'm seeing like ships and it doesn't seem like – I mean you might have had like a light, like a Norse life, but I'm not seeing like – it doesn't seem like it's like a Norse life. It seems like it's – God, I almost want to say like England or something. I don't know. It just it, – it seems like ancient times, but it feels like – it feels like the country, it feels like wherever you were at, you guys were at war with another country. Um, and I feel like it was one of those things where you understood your sense of duty, like you understood that you had to. It's like you have this like this soul contract or this pattern from past lives that stems from that. That's self-sacrifice, basically, where it's like you didn't really get to have much for yourself that lifetime. Like you probably didn't get to have love. I feel like if you were away at war, your your person might have like left you for somebody else because you were gone for so long. Um, it, it's it's like it was just it, you had this really strong sense of honor, of loyalty, of integrity, and and doing right. So, um, I feel like you were in battle a lot, and I almost feel like that's kind of played out into this lifetime where it's like some part of you feels like you can't relax, like you're not used to just having things that are for yourself. You know what I mean? Like love or money or abundance. Like you're, you're, you kind of gotten that in that pattern of just having to give and give and give and being kind of used to not getting that energy back in return. Um, cause we have something that like, you know, self-sacrifice, self-sacrifice is here, but I feel like something is happening here because we have supernatural, you know, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. I feel like you're having this desire to maybe explore the supernatural, maybe explore, um, these kind of concepts, but I also feel like you're just having that desire to reconnect with your higher self, reconnect with your psychic abilities, go down a more spiritual path and find that balance. Basically, we have prey, stalked, invaded, watched, authentic, real, organic. Let's see here. For some of you, I feel like either somebody is watching you or you're watching somebody else and you're kind of, um, so somebody here is like, take, like somebody's setting an example for somebody, authentic, real, organic, natural, you know, like you're, you're learning to be your true self again. You're learning to get out of this pattern of self-sacrifice of, you know, constantly giving to other people and not really receiving much in return. You know, we have mortal, thin, uh, thin and fragile, uh, impact like somebody's like influencing you here and then we have hope anticipation anticipation right prospects wish transgression flaws contradictions mistake like I said for a long time I feel like you were just afraid to like make mistakes or you were afraid to like you you felt like you just had to give and give and give and now you're you're allowing yourself to be human and make mistakes you're allowing yourself to be real organic natural authentic you're you're finding this balance 
internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. The past is a prison. Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. Yeah, for some of you, I really feel like somebody is not, the, somebody is holding the past against you. Somebody, it's like somebody might have said they forgave you for something, whether this is a friend or family member or a lover or whoever. But it's like somebody said that they forgave you, but it's like they're not really, it's like you're wanting to improve and this person is like blocking you from improving, you know, because they're always throwing the past in your face. It's like you're trying to balance yourself out. You're trying to become a better person. You're trying to just allow yourself to finally be human and be able to make mistakes. But it's like every time you do even the, the slightest little thing, it's like this person just throws it back in your face. It's like, yeah, you need help. Like you need to admit your needs and you need that support. Love conquers all. Love, uh, loyalty, eternal, eternal love, lasting commitment, eternal youth, energy, newness, vitality, nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. Hmm. For some, I'm, I feel like you might actually be surprised to find that you find the support with a friend or somebody else and it makes you not want to keep trying with this other connection like if this and this could even be like a friendship but it's like you might meet a friend who's just more supportive and then it's like you're kind of like wait a minute this is the support that I need this is what a mutually loving friendship or relation romantic relationship or whatever this is what that should feel like you're gonna like get a, a sense of what it's like to actually have that support and so for some of you I feel like you're gonna go on a new journey basically Nobility, honor, high standards, rebellion, unexpected endings, surprise shifts, sudden changes. Yeah, because some of you are going to feel like you just are get to this point where you're going to put yourself first finally. And you're going to realize that, you know, putting yourself first might mean either shifting things in a connection or just... It's, it's like somebody, for like I said, for some, it's like you're being gaslit and it doesn't mean that you have to necessarily leave this person unless you feel like you want to leave this person. You know, it's, it's, it's up to you really. But for some, it's kind of like you just kind of need to stand your ground though with this person and, um, kind of be a couple steps ahead of them and see when they're manipulating you, see when they're using their mental illness or things that you've done in the past against you. Um, and bring that balance back to the relationship because it's like either it needs to end or it need, there needs to be a, a shift here, a major energy shift where you guys are more on the same page. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. If it resonates, please comment below. Even just leaving a heart comment really helps because I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm, trying to get my, my videos back out there and get my numbers back up. So it really means a lot to me when you guys comment. Um, and yeah, please, uh, please share, uh, subscribe. If this resonates, um, even just liking the video helps. And um, if you want a private reading, my email is below. It is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That's right below in the description box. So thank you guys for watching.